What's happening everyone? I am Sir James from GamerFusion.com and for this video I'm here to go over how to reach level 30 within Destiny. Now I know most people within the community already know how to achieve such level. This video is to primarily help those who are currently stuck around level 27 or 28 and have no clue how to achieve such level. And of course for those who are new to the game, I'm even going to provide at least a couple tips to help you guys out as well. Now right now there's only two ways to achieve for level 30 with some upgrades as well. The first option is to have a full set of raid gear armor, in this case would be for the head gauntlets, chest, and legs. Option number two is to have three out of the four sets of raid gear armor and one exotic piece of armor. As you can see from my current situation, since I was not able to find the gauntlets within raid yet, I've replaced it with an exotic piece of armor, which works out quite well because my favorite color is blue and you have this cool looking beam that comes out a little holographic. Now, once you acquire both option one or option two, you do have to do one other thing, which is to upgrade all the armor. As you can see right now, I'm currently only level 29, but the good news is once I require at least 21 ascendant shards, actually in this case, I'll need probably under 20 more to go. Once I get the amount of ascendant shards that I need, I'm going to be level 30 just like that, because if you look, I also need spirit bloom. I need 16 spirit bloom for all three of these each not just one and that's it 16 each so you're going to be going and farming all the different materials and based on what i've seen the raid gear does use material for each one so you got the spirit bloom you got the relics you got the spin metal and you got the helium so my suggestion is if you're new to the game if you see these random materials during your playthrough is harvest them they're going to need it trust me now, of course, the other thing you also need, which is a little bit more of a pain to get your hands on, is Ascended Shards. Now, Ascended Shards, um, I was thankful enough because I played Raid on Hard Mode, which I'll go over to what that is in just a moment. But I was lucky enough to get 24 Ascended Shards. So I was able to upgrade most of my armor, in which I already have. Now, of course, if you're stuck on getting Ascended Shards, there are a few different ways to go about this. One is uh, randomly from doing a public event. Option two is to uh, break down exotic and or legendary gear, which I did. I bought some uh, legendary gear, I mean exotic gear I should say, from the Exer guy. I broke that down, I got some shards that I needed, but I still need obviously about 18 more to go. Now of course, how do you get raid gear and um, are you guaranteed a piece of armor every time you do raid? Well, raid gear you can only get by completing the raid. You'll get them from finding chests and or defeating the bosses. However, there is only one piece of gear as far as I know and based on what the information I found on the internet is, is that for the helmet within raid, you can only get the helmet by completing it on hard mode. So if you're trying to find the helmet, you can only get the helmet by completing it on hard mode is the only way that you can get the helmet. Now, as for everything else, the arm piece, the chest piece, even the legs, and including the marks as well, you can find in chest, and it's always going to be random. The, the drops are random. There's about 15 exotic weapons, um, I think about 10 legendary weapons, and you have a set of raid gear for all three classes. So my recommendation here is if you only have one character, go ahead and create another character. Now, just hold on before you freak out about having to start all over once again, is create a class, the same one you already have. As you can see right here, I have a female Titan. However, I also have another male Titan where I'm able to transfer all my armor that I have equipped to my other character, which I'll go over in just a moment. And therefore, he will be level 29, and I can do the raid once again, and hopefully I'll get a chance to get a piece of armor, weapons, and or, in my case, ascended shards that I need so badly. Now, how do you transfer your armor is quite simple. You simply go over here to the vault on the tower, but the first thing that you need to do is to go to your character's inventory and switch out your armor, because you can't... Uh, you know put your armor in the vault if you currently have it equipped so just get some crappy armor in this case once you dismantle I mean not dismantle once you unequip everything you're gonna be back to level 20 and a basically have all the crappy stuff equipped once you do that go to the vault you're gonna go ahead and go to your little character profile 
you're going to highlight whatever it is you need. In this case, for this example, I'm just going to use this kind of crappy piece of armor as an example. And you're going to store it in your vault. And when I go back, there it is. So if I go back to the same location at the tower with my other character, all this that's right here on the screen, I could access with my other character currently. So that's a nice way to go back so that way you don't have to worry about leveling up your character all over again. Now also too, another good tip is um, if you do get rare pieces of armor, you can level them up, but here's my recommendation. If you have any rare armor or legendary standard armor that is not raid gear, once again, if you have legendary armor that is not from the raid, don't level it up max, all right? In this case, there's gonna be options where it'd be like, okay, you need a certain amount of materials and ascended shards. If it requires ascended shards and is not raid gear, do not upgrade it, okay? Don't upgrade it. If it's an exotic armor that you do wanna keep and use, that's fine. But if it's not raid gear, don't bother doing it because you're going to need those shards to upgrade the raid gear armor. And that's pretty much how you go about it. Like I said, you could also get weapons from there. I did get uh, the scout rifle and I also got the shotgun from the raid as well. But pretty much that's how you get it. All you need to do is go to option one or option two, save up enough material, and that's how you get to level 30. I should be back hopefully by next week to kind of show you guys my level 30 character to show proof that once I had upgraded this helmet that I'm level 30. But if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave that in the comment section down below. My gamer tag is up here known as GF Sir James. I am located on the Xbox One only within Destiny. And once again...